So I'm almost finished with the remodeling project in the room. I've made the doorway larger and I also um, added some hardwood red oak flooring to make up the difference where there wasn't before. And this is the original door. It's just been moved over. And uh, my next step, the final step in the project here is to uh, cut the door and open it up, make it larger so that it uh, can properly close now. So I've got the door in the frame and it's just a little bit of minor trimming. I'm gonna cut a little off the top right there and then right there at the, at the knob, it's dragging just a touch and the bottom is pretty good. What I'm most pleased with is right here, the alignment of the, uh, the hinge uh, recess I made. Just like that. And so I can just uh, open the door up and install the screws. So I'm going to use a, a metric tape measure. It's just simpler for me. And before I get started, I want to um, go ahead and put some shims in the bottom of the door. Keep it from moving around. And since I'm going to be sanding this door down, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, use a Sharpie and write the numbers right on here. Because the paint's coming off anyway. So in order to rip this down the middle, the first thing I'm going to do is establish the center line here. Okay. So I got my saw out and I'm going to be using these uh, rollers here, feed rollers. First thing I want to do is make sure that my blade is, uh, is 90 degrees. Just like I did the circular saw. So I'm going to unplug it. I'll raise the blade up and check it with my gauge there. My planer set up here. I got some rollers, out feed and in feed rollers, just to help out with a long piece of wood. I got the planer clamped down to my sawhorse. Sawhorse is pretty uh, robust too. Next, I'm going to get ready for some biscuit cutting. Got my doors uh, put back together here. And the piece I cut is just a little bit longer and it's also slightly thicker. I'm going to sand it down. I'd rather it be a little thicker than, than too thin. So I've got the two door um, halves laid out on my uh, table here, and I've got the piece in the middle that I'm going to add. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure I have a little extra on each end of that. 
And then I want to use this big square here to line up the seam of the door where it used to be so I know that my uh, hinge and the um, knob will still be in the same relative position. So I'm going to draw a line across this right here. So when I go to put the clamps, when I clamp this up together, I want that to, uh, these lines, this line here to match up. And so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, mark this for the biscuits, or I call them biscuits, they're uh, plate joining biscuits. I'm using the number 20, kind of a large one. And so what I'm going to do is just get out here and mark where I would get a, cut a slot for the biscuit. Slots of the size of the store. I'm making sure I get a biscuit in each of the rails. And then up here as well. So that's my biscuit layout. Doesn't have to be, uh, as long as the two marks line up, that's all you really care about. Because that's where uh, you cut a slot in this way and then you'll cut a slot in that way. Everywhere there's a dot or a line. And uh, then you just use some glue and the biscuits to clamp it together. And this is the, the plate joiner. This one's a quarter cable. It's uh, pretty versatile. There's a lot of adjustability in it. And uh, I've got it set for, you can see it's set for 20.
So before I can try the door in the uh, in the opening that I made larger and enlarged it, uh, I need to cut this little splice out. Uh, I made it a little proud, so uh, I wouldn't have to worry about aligning it when I'm gluing it up. So I've got a, my board clamped here at five and a half inches, which is my fence on the saw. So I swung the door around, now I'm working on the top here. I'm gonna clamp this board down and use as a guide. This uh, guide board's got a bow in it. And so I wanna make sure I have the bow going up so that when I clamp down on the board, it'll be tight in the middle. If I flip the board over and the bow's coming up, when I clamp down on it, there's a gap here and my saw could go in there. The fence could go in there. So, uh, Good thing to pay attention to. And again, it's five and a half inches. And what I like to do is have a, a longer guide on the, on the start here where I'm gonna start. It's not so important here <clears throat> because by then it's cut. So that's gonna wrap up this door installation. The rest of it's pretty straightforward. Just sanding it, priming it, painting it.